I am Dr. Kimberly Thomas McNair, and I'm here to talk about the Fresh Food Interest Group and our Kwanzaa celebration that we're having on December the 31st. To tell you a bit about the Fresh Food Interest Group, we are a multi-skilled group of volunteers. We are a not-for-profit community group committed to bringing access to fresh food and produce to Southeast Kinston, North Carolina. And that area of Kinston has not had a full functioning grocery store for uh, 20 years now. COVID-19 definitely brought heartbreak, challenges, and unexpected changes in most of our lives. For me, that meant moving back to my hometown unexpectedly for what I thought was going to be a couple of months where I rode out the pandemic and then returned um, to the work that I was doing. However, um, by June 2021, I was still in my hometown, but things were starting to open up a bit because thankfully we then by then had the vaccine. So one of the first events that I went to after uh, receiving the vaccine was my city's Juneteenth celebration. And there I met today's guest. There was a tent there that had a really long line and people were coming away with these plates that had collards on them and, and just really delicious looking food. And so when I went over there, I was shocked to find out that it was free. And so this was one of the initiatives of the Fresh Food Interest Group, which our guest today will tell you more about. So let me tell you about our guest. Our guest is Dr. Kimberly Thomas McNair who is a postdoctoral fellow at Stanford University in African and African-American studies. She holds a PhD in African-American and African diaspora studies from the University of California at Berkeley. Kimberly's research focuses on Black social movements, activist traditions, and expressive culture in the African diaspora, race, gender, and popular culture in post-civil rights Black America and 20th and 21st century African American material history and media culture. Kim has rooted herself in activist communities that mutually affirm the presence of women and people of color in the academy and the world. She is a member of Black Lives Matter Los Angeles and active on the research and arts and culture committees. She volunteers for numerous organizations in our hometown of Kinston, North Carolina, including the Sherry McNair Family Foundation and the Sherry McNair Sickle Cell and Thalassemia Foundation Incorporated Memorial Scholarship Program, which was named in honor of her sister and was established in 2010 for African-American college students. She also volunteers with the organization I mentioned earlier, the Fresh Foods Interest Group Project for Lenore County. And she is going to tell you all about it. So join me in welcoming today's guest, Dr. Kimberly Thomas McNair. Welcome, Kim. Hello, Dr. Dockery, and thank you so much for inviting me to talk a bit about the work we're doing in Kinston, North Carolina with the Fresh Food Interest Group. And um, I am happy to speak with your viewers and listeners here. I am Dr. Kimberly Thomas McNair, and I'm here to talk about the Fresh Food Interest Group and our Kwanzaa celebration that we're having on December the 31st. To tell you a bit about the Fresh Food Interest Group, we are a multi-skilled group of volunteers. 
We are a not-for-profit community group committed to bringing access to fresh food and produce to Southeast Kinston, North Carolina. And that area of Kinston has not had a full functioning grocery store for uh, 20 years now. The group includes former residents of Southeast Kinston, like myself, I'm from Bright Street. I grew up in Richard Green Apartments and current residents uh, from Kinston, as well as area black farmers and landowners, representatives from, from local nonprofit organizations and churches. We are invested in issues of uh, addressing food justice and uh, thinking about black agricultural heritage and promoting black agricultural heritage. This is not the first Kwanzaa celebration in Kinston, but this is the first time the Fresh Food Interest Group has organized our own event, and we wanted to do so um, under the uh, uh, the event Kwanzaa, which was a cultural celebration. We've seen in recent years that there's been a rise in interest in uh, Black cultural celebrations, and we felt like this is a way for the community to come together and celebrate Black history and resilience. Attendees will learn about the history of Kwanzaa as a cultural celebration, and is relevance to Black agricultural heritage in particular. They will also learn about small Black-owned businesses in the area and how they can support them. Uh, we want Black farmers, especially Black farmers and vendors in Eastern North Carolina to get exposure. And over the past two years, the Fresh Fruit Interest Group has uh, been in conversations about building towards a possible community garden and subscription program, a Black farmer's market pop-up, or eventually a cooperative grocery store in Southeast in the Southeast Kinston area again to address the issue of uh, food insecurity there and also again bring access to fresh and healthy food to that area. But we need to hear from the community to figure out the best way possible to get that done and what the community actually uh, wants to do in that area. So this event will help us connect with community to find out what they want in the area and to work with them on how to make that a reality. The event will include speakers representing local Black businesses, dancers, and live music. We'll also have storytelling featuring some local Black farmers who have been providing fresh vegetables and produce for our community for decades. And the vendors will include a mobile uh, farmer's market. We're also going to have uh, vendors who have their own retail and clothing, um, those who make their own crafts and products, and people representing health and beauty uh, product lines. And so those are just a few of the uh, vendors that we'll have there. We'll also uh, think a bit more about how we can make this event event really about community uh, fellowship, bringing together and supporting uh, Black businesses and farmers in a way that uh, we can definitely uh, address this issue of the African-American community um, feeling seen and included in the local Black economy um, and the local economy of Kinston in, in, in particular, and thinking about how the African-American community has to see itself reflected in the local economy as not only consumers, but as business owners and as uh, self-reliant producers of their own food. So that's something that uh, we also feel is, is, is very important. For the broader significance of Kwanzaa itself, it's important to know that it is a celebration of African diasporic heritage and cultural tra traditions all around the world. It's observed uh, yearly from December the 26th to January the 1st. And what makes this uh, year very, very special and the fact that we're having our event on Friday, December the 31st, is that we've, we've chosen to make our Kwanzaa celebration highlight our unique local Black agricultural heritage and food ways. And December the 31st is significant as uh, Kwanzaa usually culminates in a communal feast known as the Karamu, and that takes place on the sixth day of Kwanzaa. And December 31st is the sixth day of Kwanzaa. And that's when we'll be having uh, this event. So I'm happy to, to talk more about Kwanzaa and uh, the event and how that connects overall to the history of Black agricultural heritage in this area. And I'm very excited because what the Fresh Food Interest Group is doing is we're trying to connect uh, what we're doing here in the community and how we're trying to build awareness around um, this issue of food security, food justice in the Southeast Kinston area is we're actually connecting ourselves to the broader movement happening nationally and especially in North Carolina in particular around uh, Black farmers 
farmers and landowners. You see, we have the Fertile Grounds Food Cooperative in Raleigh. They have their Black Farmers Market pop up from time to time there in Raleigh, which has been very successful. We have the Black Farmers Hub. That is also a brick and mortar store, which is a Black Farmers uh, Hub and store. And they have products created and distributed by Black people and food and produce produced from Black farmers. And there are also subscription programs from farmers in the area that people can do and undertake. And there is the, the fact that you can actually use your EBT and double bucks, right? So if you are on a, um, a controlled income uh, and you have limited funds, you can also use those special food programs at farmer's market pop-ups. You can use it at uh, your local farmer's uh, markets that happen here locally and also we're trying to build towards something where people can use those food programs double books ebt etc if you have snap benefits you'll be able to use that uh, here locally as well and so we want to spread the word about what's out there what's possible and what people can actually do and uh, spread the word about what we're doing with the fresh food interest group to keep that conversation going and build and connect ourselves to this broader movement of black people producing food for themselves and also bring bringing this to the areas that need it the most. So if you are interested in uh, working with the Fresh Food Interest Group, if you're interested in what we're trying to do in Kinston, North Carolina, or if you just like to chat more about Black agricultural heritage and the overall movement uh, of Black farmers in the area and how to connect with that, you can always reach out to me um, and you can get my information from Dr. Dockery. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all on the 31st. I hope you're able to come out and I am here to answer any questions that you might have. God bless. Have a happy and healthy holiday season and uh, y'all take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kim. I am so proud of Dr. McNair, her research and her community outreach initiatives, both in North Carolina, in California, and throughout the nation. And of course, after chatting a little while, it did not take long for us to find those family connections here. And I was thrilled to find out that she went to the same church as my grandmother and grew up with my cousin. And how could that not be in Kinston, North Carolina? So um, having grown up in Southeast Kinston myself in Lincoln City, the mission of the Fresh Foods Interest Group immediately resonated with me. So on behalf of the Fresh Food Interest Group, we hope that we'll see you on December 31st.